So uh, one of the last chapters um, that we are going to study is about uh, patenting and regulation. So um, patenting uh, is a <clears throat> is a bridge. Excuse me, is a bridge between. Uh, it's a very important critical bridge between discovering. Well, it's discovering that discovery and and commercialization. So these two has to be bridged uh, smartly by uh, by a document, a legal document that is called as patent document okay. and so in this chapter we will be studying briefly about uh, patenting and uh, then uh, how to apply where to apply for patenting and how to de develop into a product very brief and simple so in biotechnology which mainly um, deals with uh, health products um, that could be from a medicine to a vaccine to a cosmetic products, food, uh, anti-pollutant uh, tools or, or reagents. So, so any patent, any product, any product that comes into being if you think about it, it starts from a starts from an idea. Okay? An idea is very important thing, right? An idea can only come when when somebody has uh, done a research, right? research is in thorough research otherwise you can be working on something that is already in the in the public domain and then you will be wasting time and one can only do research when you have the you know right knowledge otherwise uh, it, there won't be any passion for doing research unless you have a knowledge, little bit knowledge, you don't need to have deep knowledge, but you need to have a knowledge, what's, what product to develop? Will that product be useful? Uh, will that be in demand? And uh, why do you need that product to be in demand? Because uh, this product, this product can be, can be developed into a, a full-fledged company or industry, right? And, and this company can then, this company then can uh, provide globally that product. So how does the, the chain works? The chain works that one must have a knowledge, pre-existing knowledge. One should be full in full, uh, have a full uh, research idea, what idea to do research on based on knowledge that would fill the gap, that would bring a product. And then once you are knowledgeable, you have a passion to do research that translates into an idea. And then between idea and, and product, there also is a gap that needs to be filled very, very carefully. And that is to have proof of principle. What, is, what, is, what do I mean by proof of principle? Let's say if I claim that I have a protein or I have a potential drug that can treat cancer, it should not be merely words, but I should have a data thorough scientific data that proves that in my lab, I have a protein or a molecule 
that can be useful to treat cancer. And this product, when I when I when I have a when I have a good fair idea that this product could be uh, useful, right? So then it there's a need to make a company. But before I make this product public, it is very important to secure these, this idea and this product because there's a lot of competition in public domain and everybody is thinking and many people think alike. So before this product goes into public domain, it is very important to secure this idea. And this idea can be secured by submitting a document to an office called as USPTO. USPTO, it stands for, stands for uh, United States Patent and Trade Organization. Okay. So just like we submit our taxes annually to IRS Revenue Service, we submit the proof of principle, the idea, the potentiality of that product to, to the USPTO, such that anybody sitting in any part of the world cannot copy your idea or can develop an alternative product. So this securing of idea, securing of proof, proof of principle product such that the discoverer gets the full benefit. We have to apply for patent. So patent is a document that contains the idea, the proof of principle, the nature of product, how this product will benefit society. Are there any pre-existing products like this? Because if there is a product that is already there, then there is no point. So, so there has to be some degree of uh, innovation, some degree of, uh, of, of you know, transformation, transformation says that the product that you have developed can improve the pre-existing. Otherwise, uh, there, there could be a company, but that company may not be, be successful. So this chapter is on patenting and regulation. So when uh, when an idea that's develop, that develops into a product and has to be has to uh, come to public domain, it has to be regulated, right? So, for example, uh, right now there are, there are companies which are making vaccines and they had successful first and second trial, and they are going into phase three trial, which is bigger trial. So, so it has to be done very carefully before it comes to public domain. It has to test the time, test the pass the test of time such that if the wrong vaccine comes rather than doing benefit, it can harm the public. So it has to be, uh, it has to be, to be thoroughly analyzed, the quality and the quantity and, and uh, there is no adverse reaction. Right? So there has to be a regulation because then everybody wants to develop something and put into public domain, but they may not be useful. So it is very important that once, so you have an idea, you, you uh, develop proof of principle and proof of principle should be, um, should be, um, should lead to data. And this data should be submitted to USPTO and the job is of USPTO is to review the, 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 the discovery and analyze the data. And if they have uh, questions that uh, those things needs to be, those questions need to be addressed. Once, once uh, everything is fine, then USPTO awards a number 
So, so the idea becomes into a product and it can come, it has a patent, uh, patent number that is solely to the discoverer. It is secure, nobody can take it. So an idea develops into principle, principle into data, and then you submit, then it, it, is, it, is, it is very stringently uh, reviewed. And once it is very authentic and innovative, it is awarded a patent number. And with this patent number, you can easily go into the public domain without any problem that this will be copied, copied or, or you know, uh, so it's it's a very important process for for scientists because uh, of amount of data, amount of time, amount of resources that are, that are invested to get an idea into a product. Okay. So the document that is uh, awarded with patent number is called as patent document. Now, one thing it, one thing that is very important is that when we are developing a product. It is very important to have an identity of that product. What do I mean identity? That it should have a unique recognition sim symbol. And that symbol is called as trademark. For example, let's say if you, uh, if you see a, a Coke can, you can easily identify Coke by its signature or by its, the color of the can. Similarly, Pepsi. So each product has its unique symbol that helps uh, the company to grow and it provides a uniqueness. So patenting, trademark are the steps for developing a product that will help your company to reach out to public domain for enhanced com com commercialization. And when a company has good uh, reputation that it can employ more people so when you employ more people, it, it, it uh, helps the, the economy of that neighborhood, of that city, right? So uh, it is directly connected. So biotechnology is, through its product, is directly connected to people and society. But it has to be regulated such that nothing, uh, nothing that is undesirable comes into public. And it, and it happens all the time. There are some products that come into public domains, those are either withdrawn or there are some problems and the manufacturers have to pay uh, to the customers who have used the, those products because those products were not, not um, quality control one. So it, it keeps on going, but there has to be a checks and balances. There has to be an office, there has to be a system which keeps an eye on all these products that are, that are circulating in public domain to protect the public from. And if, and if there is a product which claims that it can treat a disease, but it doesn't treat, then it is not good for that company. So, it, so every step, any, any good company, every step that company takes, takes with the help of data. So a data, driven company or data driven person will know uh, how to improvise, how to innovate, right? So again, research component, knowledge is very important, drive, passion. So patenting gives exclusive right to that discoverer. And the document that award uh, that's uh, the the, uh, the credibility that is called as a patent document. A trademark is a unique symbol of expression uh, that can help the company to grow. Now, uh, we all know that uh, that there is a there's a company like, there, there is there are commercial setup like uh, real estate or, or property management. So when you take a legal angle, protection of idea, so idea, idea is developed by a person or group of people, right? a group of individuals. This idea has to be protected. So this idea is called as 
intellectual. And no, none of the ideas are bad if they work. Uh, and so, uh, so a group of people can come and form a product or, or proof of principle, and then they can go to USPTO. Uh, so that idea is called as intellectual property. Yeah. And there could be uh, two types of product in the public domain. One is called as product patents or the second is called as process patents. So a product patent could be, let's say a drink, um, let's say a, um, a new drink that has come into the public domain that says that that is sugarless, but it is rich in protein or, or it could treat, uh, it could be very helpful to diabetic patients. So that's a product that comes into part, uh, uh, public domain that it would maintain the physiological ions in a, in a diabetic patient or in, let's say in an athlete. Uh, so that becomes a product patent, direct use. The second is called as process patents. So process patent patents are generally kits where you have to follow the instruction. Step one, uh, you have to, uh, let's say, uh, make, a, make a prick in your finger Step two, you have to put the device. Step three, you have to look at the sugar content. So when there is a steps involved, for example, making a recombinant bacteria that can degrade a cancer causing pollutant. So that recombinant bacteria will be made because of DNA cloning, bacterial transformation, and then company. So that becomes a process patent. Societal view on patents is, is, is since technology is driving society, it is very important that society have their impression, they have a reflection on any discovery and uh, there should be debate and, and uh, one should understand uh, both sides of the coin. One of the very important organization is called as FDA, that is Food and Drug Administration. And they really look at um, very, 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 very um, thoroughly on fruit products or cosmetic products or something that could be used by small kids or a baby or even as adults, right? So they, they monitor whether something is good and it is in the hand of people and uh, they have to assure safety of the citizens, right? For example, you will see sometimes that a certain kind of vegetable has been withdrawn with, because it has E. coli. Certain kind of beef has been withdrawn. It affects that company, but it, the FDA has to protect its people. Recently, I was hearing that the onions that are there in, in the public domain in the stores have been contaminated by salmonella that is known to cause typhoid. So that will be a big problem. So there is a watch process, a monitor process that maintains quality control. And that is called as food and drug administration. So uh, with this, I finish this chapter. Thank you.